Hey guys, my name is GammaCube, and this is Minecraft. Today we are back on the Etrix server. I know it's been a while, but I am finally back uh, for another episode with you guys. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. This is an ice tray that I have made. Uh, just often, uh, these are the coordinates, uh, if you're wondering in relation to the spawn and, and throughout the world. I needed uh, somewhere that ice was going to take control of water. Anyway, spawn is back that way. I needed some ice to, yeah, I just, I soak touched the ice and I will show you guys what we're going to be doing with that ice after I make the journey back home. So I, I will be back with you in just a second. So we have made it back home and I just gotta say, I love this view, except for that. <laughs> I don't know who did that, but anyway, hey. So, Whoa. You guys are probably wondering why I gathered all that ice, and so I'm uh, I'm actually building something right over here, right next to the um, what's it called? Rock paper scissors machine. If you'll notice, and you probably do, uh, there is a giant floor of ice here. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, basically, what we are making today is a block skip ball court. If you guys know what the Knox Crew game show is, then you know what this game is. But if you have never heard of them, then I will explain it a little bit. If you are American, then you obviously know what basketball is. That's a given. But, you know, some of you might not be American. And basically, it's a game with a court that involves a ball and a hoop. Now, Blocksketball takes on something new. Oh, gosh. If I break that, I don't have my soap touch pick on me. Uh, Blocksketball is uh, something different, though. And, and I'll explain the rules after we build it, I suppose. Uh, so, the next step is getting in birch slabs as well as acacia wood slabs. So, I'm going to put the, it on top of the ice, and the ice is very important for the gameplay. Uh, and I will be back with you guys when I finish putting on the wood. So, to continue the, uh, the Bloxcaball Court, we are going to need to make the goals. To make the goals, we are going to need some uh, cyan-stained cyan clay. And what better place to get that than Kix's Hardened Clay Shop. So, he is about to make, uh, I think, his, maybe his first payment. I've already gotten it. Uh, but uh, I guess I will show the progress that I've made on this place. So, this is what the floor of this thing looks like. And now I'm going to, to move on to doing the other part which is the goals yeah words are difficult so we are going to be placing a bit of glass on each side oh another thing i put in these things because you'll you'll see why basically you need them for getting up to the point where you can dunk it really <laughs> and that's really the only way to make a shot in the in this game is to dunk it there isn't really any shooting because it's minecraft just you know be be happy with what you get and we're going to top this all, place the dang thing. We're going to top this all off with a bit of white at the top to be like a hoop. So yeah, this block skip ball cord is going to be fantastic, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, we're going to enclose the glass back, if I can get back there, we're going to enclose it with cyan stained clay that we got from the shop over, over yonder. And... I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Give me one moment. So with both of the goals set in place, I am now going to make the scoreboard. This game is going to be a game where if you get to five, if your team gets to five, then you win. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up a little bit high in the air. I don't know how high. Probably maybe this should be fine, right? Yeah, okay, let's go with this. So we need to go one, two, three, let's see if I can remember, four, five, maybe? All right, now let's just get ourselves back down here. Make a little lip there so we can get down. Okay, one, and then this needs to be uh, something. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then one more, and lip it off. Okay, now we're gonna make a beam across. And this is going to be the size of each team's thing. So I'm going to recreate that on, on that side. But first... Ah, whoops. Oh, well. I'll do it from down here. I will put in some quartz. I hear a skeleton. I know I do. I'm going to put in some quartz. 
it is going to look awesome. And then in the middle, I'm going to put in redstone lamps. These are going to be indicators as to how many points the team has. So let me let me recreate that on, on that side. So it's been a couple days since the last clip that I recorded, purely because of, well, bad timing things, but also because I had basically made the model of this place, which I've actually modified with these uh, things. Push back one, I added the, and those iron bars and a backboard to the, to the things. But that's not the huge thing. Huge thing is I, I made the redstone to this thing so that this Blonska ball court is actually functional now. So I've covered it up on that side, but I haven't on this side just so I could show you guys uh, what's going on. So if I go up to here, you, know, you notice that there was a button here. Well, now in the middle of the court, once I press this button, listen. And then the ball pops out. And then I can pick it up. And I have to have it in my hand when, I, when I'm playing. But now, if I were to drop it into this goal, if I were to run up, boom. Okay, well, that got stuck right there. That uh, is the worst luck that could have happened on camera because it sometimes happens like that. Okay, so you cannot make the jump while standing on this thing, which is great. Uh, you want to have it to where people have to jump up. Well, it went through, and now you see that that just lit up, okay? If I were to put another ball in, it would light up uh, that until you got to five, which is how you win the game. So, let's see. And we, we might do a countdown. That might be something better to do, but for now, we just have a scoreboard. Uh, let's see how this works. So, down here... Okay, well, somebody put a stake in there. Whoops. Down here, we have the ball. This is where the ball went, and it, this is like the little collection area. When the ball goes through here, it... It makes it so that this comparator, uh, you guys have seen me do this in, in the, uh, the, the, the auto sorter thing. Well, basically, if it, if it put, gets one more item, th this ball in it, then it lights up this dust, which gets this uh, on, which turns this off, which lets one item pass through, making it so that it, uh, whenever, you, like, a, like a sorter thing. Well, that pulse goes through this and through this. And this is set perfectly to where it gives two quick pulses. And uh, it sends it all the way through here. If I go back here, we're going back into the scoreboard system. So it brings it back here, turns this off. Is, there, is there a zombie back here? I, I think I, I thought I heard one. Anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was a creeper explosion. Not a big one, but just enough to where you know zombies could follow me at any moment. Anyway. These are filled with wooden shovels. Now, uh, for every time that that uh, a ball goes in, into the goal, it'll send two wooden shovels into this chest, which when the comparator picks it up, it gives it two extra pulses, okay? So, uh, starting at zero, if it has none in it, then it has zero pulse. I add one wooden shovel. That zombie is getting annoying. I'm going to actually turn the, his sound down completely off, actually. I'm going to regret that later when a creeper explodes. But if I put one more in, you can see that it turns that on and then sends a, a, a power up to the, the thing up there, the scoreboard. So that that's how this works. The scoreboard works. It's functional, but I still need to fine-tune some things. I would like to have some kind of automatic draining system where it resets the board by getting all the wooden shovels out of here but um that shouldn't be too difficult and i'll probably do that off camera let's see was there anything else with this court i want to dress up that sign and that might be what this next clip is if not then uh, i was hoping to get in a game of blockskitball uh yeah well we'll just see what's in the next clip oh man i, co I completely forgot to mention that uh, from here you guys have probably noticed this in the background this is something that I believe Knight and maybe Harrison built together. It could have just been Knight, but I think Harrison helped with it, uh, with the <clears throat> the courts and all that. But these are rooms for the teams, like the locker rooms, uh, right before the game, right? So it's got the the designated leather armor to the color of their of their choosing. There's also a red team, and these splash potions. What these splash potions of healing? That we this game is sponsored by the Gamaco Potion Shop, way over there. So, as you're playing uh, throughout the game, uh, you're allowed to hit people, 
and you have crappy leather armor, right? So your health is going to be low. So you pop a splash potion every once in a while just to keep yourself from dying. And so, yeah, if I plop... Wait. This is the same ball. But uh, I'll, I'll plop it in one more time just so you guys can see. And now one more light is it has popped up. Uh, it's more honor system... It gives no indication as to when uh, one team wins, but I, I want to make it so that if one team gets to five points, then a bunch of fireworks with their color go off around the court, which I think would be cool. But um, that's enough for this clip. Let's move on to the next. So with all of the basic things for this court uh, taken care of, I figure now we will be do we will be making bleachers along this as well as covering up a bit of redstone here. But while I do this, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna do this with you guys, or uh, have you guys watch me do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to be talking about an upcoming series that I hope to be doing. So there is a, a game that I have loved for a very long time, and it is called RoboCraft. Now. Uh, those of you who don't know, it is basically, it's kind of like Minecraft, only you, well, the only similarity is that you build things out of cubes, okay? Now, the difference is, uh, you take what you make, and it's a working robot that you put into a fight with other, other people's robots that they've built, and you try to make a good design, one that's gonna make you more money, one that will make you build more bots with more epic designs. So, that game has been in alpha for a very long time. It's still in alpha, but it is going to have a meta change soon. It's going to have a complete revamp of the game. Uh, Free Jam is the, the creators of it. And, let's see. Boom, boom. And let's see. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. With the, with the new meta, I will be starting up a mini-series is what I think it's going to turn into. A mini-series. Not a full series, but... A little taste so that you guys can see if you would like a series on that the thing is, is it's very grindy okay it's a very grindy game and it's about to get a whole lot more strategic uh, but it's still gonna be a pretty grindy game in my opinion so yeah I don't expect a whole lot of people to want a Robocraft series but I'm gonna make a mini one just so I can show off what they're trying to do what they're trying to do is from uh, according to the fo to the forums they are going to uh have a pre pre release pre launch week one week where they they add some features of the game like respawning which is new and then uh one week after that they're going to add the rest of everything i assume and that is going to be the full release so i'll definitely be covering both of those and showing off some of the robots that I have already, as well as probably building some new ones and telling what, what the pros and cons are to each each vehicle that you make. So yeah, this is a lot slower than I thought it was going to be on camera. So why don't I just cut back and, and let you guys see what I have done with this because I'm really not sure what else to talk about for RoboCraft. So this is what I came up with. I decided that, um, you know, we would go for this kind of style with the wool in the background so you can tell which side is which you got the blue team versus the red team coinciding with the, the locker rooms I think so that's what I base it around anyway I guess I will go into a little bit about the rules of this game now when uh, when the team when the teams are ready one person has to go over here bloop then they gotta all stand outside of the ring, okay? Then, then, whenever, well, actually, no, no, no. They can stand in the ring. I'm sort of deciding whether uh, what kind of rules I want to keep right now, actually. So they can be in the ring, because then there, there'll be issues with people being off time. So everybody's in the ring, and then one random person gets it. Now, the red team is going to try to make it on this goal, right? So they will have a inventory full of stuff so they'll go over here and they will try to dunk it and they do so they get a point and so then then everybody gets in the center again now and the and then the whole process begins again anyway now uh, during this game you are allowed to punch people and that's what the ice is for to keep you uh 
I don't, I don't know, from having too much friction on the ground. If you get knocked while jumping in on ice, you go flying. If you go past, if you if you hit this orange marker here, or pat, yeah, if you hit it, then you are out, and then you will have to get out of out of the the court, drop the ball, let the other team get it, get back onto the court, and then try to block against whatever he, or, you know, whoever he's gonna try to pass it into. So. That's how the game works. Yep. I don't think that there's anything else left to say. And I, you know what? I think the next episode is the episode that we are going to have our first block skip ball game on the Etrix server. Until then, if you like the video, please like the video. If you have anything to comment about, comment about it. And don't forget to subscribe.